Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Tropico 5 campaign. I am your lovely host, Galvin. Where we're going to kill the Fortuna for this one. The mission is Paranoia. The Great Wars are over! In a sense, the Order's plan did work. But I'm not sure we're better off now. Two nuclear powers have divided the world. Wars, although smaller, are still fought. The threat of nuclear annihilation has brought fear, suspicion, and paranoia. My friend and mentor, Leon Kane, has become jaded and concerned as well. He fears for his life. Personally, I think no assassin will ever get either one of us, but it is reasonable of him to take precautions. He has asked for my aid, and I will do what I can to help him. Paranoia. My life is in danger, Presidente. I just survived an assassination attempt, and I fear there are more to come. We need a decoy, a double who looks exactly like me. Someone to play my role out in the open. For better or for worse, I don't look like a common drop again. Nobody on your island would do the job. But a foreign tourist may be suitable. An elementary calculation says you'll need at most 32 tourists to visit your shores. Attract 32 tourists. Uh, Hola, Tropico! While okay, many of you though. don't have a whole lot of love for our El Presidente, oh, shut up. I myself would argue that he could be doing worse. Okay, you could say that he could be doing better as well. Actually, one might even go as far as to say he could be doing a lot better, and, well, not really that much worse. Yeah, all right, I think we can set this up. People to the everywhere area. are discussing whether we should just stick with the beaches and leave nature pristine and untouched, or build concrete sweatshops and spend our best years in back-breaking labor. Do you guys even need to think about that one? I'll suck it up to that for the sake of it. All right. Cool, let's hook up uh, our roading here, I suppose. We got work to do. I hate roads in this game. I really, really do. They're just so weird when they try and bend. Oh, I'll take that, yeah, sure. A little closer to the shore than I wanted there, but whatever. It'll do. Okay, so we need to build a tourist resort. Tourism. Holy shit, that's bull. That's a lot of money. Okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to wait for freighters. Do we need a second dock? I think we might. To carry all this shit. Hmm, maybe. We'll see how much it carries. It just empties us out. I don't know. No, it's, it's clear. Alright, uh, what do you want? I might have been just a touch off in my careful cat. Go away. Okay, so. Service quality depends on beauty, so we shall, uh. Build an economy hotel here. And. Rides room for five slob tourist families. For each entertainment nearby. What do slobs like? Cultural. Wealthy. Eco. Mm. Eh, two eco tourist families for. Ten thousand dollars. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Hmm. It's not terrible of a deal, I suppose. So we need entertainment buildings. There isn't anything for slob tourists, is there? Let's make a national park. Um, bricks underneath it. Alright. Oh, 
Let's build a restaurant in our nas new newly declared national park. That sounds like a great idea. Um, and beach site. There. Perfect. Quick build. Quick build. God knows it's gonna take a long time for anyone to, you know, actually get down there, but it'll do. So, in the meantime, be in the research. Oh, hey, there you are. Finally. Put that on high priority. Make sure that's done. Because we're going to quick build everything else. It's not worth having people come out here. Alright. I don't think tourists will mind a really long travel time when they come in at the dock. Will they? I don't know. Tourists come in by dock, for anyone who doesn't know. I'll put an airport down here eventually. Uh, if I unlock it. But, you know. Tourists only. Tourists only. Really? Hmm. Duly noted that you can use beach sites uh, for entertainment. How much do they hold to them? 50. Alright. I really should learn that. Using beach sites in the future might be useful. To learn visitors for a national park. Uh, I don't know. Does that... What does this provide? Is it entertainment? I suppose it probably is. It's hard to say. 20 citizens arrived in Tropico. I'm not going to get any tourists until this damn hotel is complete. Speaking of, let's build another hotel. Alright, get to work. Hopefully we'll have enough money to uh, quick build this by the time this is done. We tried to discover democracy. Ooh, we have democracy, okay. Uh, total state control. Free market. Do we want... Yeah, we'll go with that. Means less protests. That's really gonna be my big issues. Apparently you can use the national park as a garage. And it works. How can I help? <laughs> Duly noted. So it's 75% done. That's always nice. With a little work. Yeah. With another, 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 with another freighter load, we'll easily be able to, uh, you know, finish the next hotel. I've never actually really used tourism because I've just never been able to figure out how the hell it could be profitable. Like, unless tourists generate a boatload of money. I mean, like, an overpoweredly huge amount of it. I can't see it. Because hotels are like 20 grand a piece. Hotels and that are just so expensive. It just requires such an initial investment that I don't know how anyone could even consider such a thing. I mean, they're twice as much as an apartment. Which is basically what they are, glorified freaking apartments. Actually, they're worse than apartments. But, you know, might as well be freaking tenements. For all they're damn worth. Also, we should do something about that uranium. That's not how uranium ore looks. Presidente, remember that. For the record, that's not how uranium ore looks. Do, 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 do. E. Make sure they're well off. Likewise, we want people working here. So that way we can have lots of tourist families come in. Alcoholic and womanizing son to be a uh, some scientist of international repute, I probably said. So, now we should have tourist ships that occasionally come through. Yes. Tourist ships. You'll notice them because they're white. Ay, caramba! You're not Bart. Go away. Do we... Eh, I might need to put a dock down near here. 
Oh, I still have buildings permanent active. Holy crap. Let's repeal that. What? So I can tell you. Oh, yeah, that steel mill would have shut down by now, wouldn't it? Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of it. Steel mill's good and all, because, you know, you can. Or at least the second steel mill. We've discovered the mineral. Cool. It's not where we don't have the mines to maintain the second steel mill. Hey, there we are. I just wanted to make sure that, you know, pure ships were going to come to this port. A new era of yes. knowledge is upon us. Isabel, go make a doomsday device. Ooh, 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 I like it. And... So yeah, here comes our first trooper ship. Alright, so yeah, there are the tourists off. What's with all these skinny gals here? You short on food? It's, they have real Chinese food here. For all the people we import from China. This third world air makes me sick. You're a fucking jackass. I should cut you up. All right. I order tourists. To you be expect shot. a tip? Oh, why well, didn't Noah swat those two mosquitoes? Sir, <laughs> I bring great news. It's a canoe. It's modern art. I'm shaking. Ah. You're shaking. Every time I click on it's modern art, it's an earthquake. It the earthquake is over. We made it. Okay, we lost the opera house. Or an opera house. Uh, you know what? Cancel the construction. I don't think anyone actually cares. Alright, let's get rid of the banks and the stuff. That shit ain't gonna be helpful. That shit's just swashing money and other stuff. It isn't worth Elections it. Elections are coming, Presidente. Really? We have mandatory elections? Why the fuck do we have mandatory elections? Man, I'm stupid. Uh, we're gonna have to martial law our way out of this one. Eh, there I we have go. sad news, Presidente. Leon Kane was murdered. His boat sabotaged inside our territorial waters. We don't know who did it, but there were no survivors. Some of that one... Uh, we like might just find one mur our murderer. Or this escape boat. Mentor Kane was a visionary, the finest mind of our order. He was relying on you for protection, and you failed him, the order, and all of humanity. For all we know, you may have even arranged his murder. So some of the order is still willing to give you a benefit there to the investigation. I find it's self interesting to impose on you not to say you would use the treasury trap to bribe and manipulate our investigators. Rather not take any chances. Really? They can do that? How to catch a murderer? Oh, with a plane, according to your chief investigator. Well, he's not wrong. The USA has launched a new in... Yeah, we'll consider it. We have an embassy, right? Braves. Those Yankees sure know how to throw up... Yeah, sure. We're gonna need the money. And I'm going to ensure that I have to spend it, pretty much. Aren't I? So, Leon Kane's dead. Hmm. I need 256 new tourists. Well, let's get to work then. No way I'm fucking gonna hold on to any money at this point. Let's face it. Okay. Uh, luxury entertainment. Let's get ourselves a nice cabaret going. Tourists only. Cash it up. Cash it up. 
So, we're gonna need new tourists. Damn. Because that means all the ones we already... Because we had 51. We only had to invite, like, what, 32? Oh, hey. I noticed we had another damaged building there. Okay. Damn. This is gonna be a problem. That's why we need more hotels. Hotels will solve everything. Where are my hotels again? What? Oh yeah, tourism. I, I really don't use tourism all that much. Can you tell? If I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna need more friggin' entertainment sites, I suppose. I really wrote off things like beach sites more than I probably should have. Like, I, I really did just kind of write them off as things only tourists would ever use. I didn't really think about too much that, you know, citizens could also use it. Didn't really think about it. Probably should have. Probably would have saved me a lot of headaches. There, keep the old treasury in the negatives, and they can't confiscate anything. It's the secret, really. It's a good flight first, because, you know... We need to build an airport to stop our treasure from being confiscated so goddamn much. Hmm. No upgrades? Okay. Slob tourists, aren't they? Uh, sorry. Slob tourists, yes, okay. So what we want to do is put all you can eat on that. What do you want? The Yankees will drown us in money, but we have to show a modicum of progress to justify the program's name. This would have been so much easier with ponies. Yes. Alright. Industrialization is only 10,000. So it's actually a $5,000 boost. But, meh. Alright. Martial law. We saw it coming. <laughs> I'll what amend the do you think later. about this martial lore, fellow Tropicans? At first, I felt like a caged tiger, but now I try to look at the bright side. I don't find it too bad. I get to spend some quality time with Alex, my pet alligator, and my average relationship has doubled in length. I feel like there's like some kind of innuendo with that relationship doubled in length or something, or something I'm just missing out on in general. Of course, you know, we're going to be armying the hell up. Might as well, I mean. Not much we can do about that. Otherwise, alright, cool. The extra squads will most undoubtedly be useful. And more tanks. I feel like uprisings and stuff are going to start happening and we're going to have some problems. Oh, you can eat. There, slob tourists like that more. Budget up the hotels, make them all nice. Okay. 135 dollars, see? Whatever. That's the plan. If we keep the treasury in the negatives, they can't confiscate shit. I need to get an airport, too. <clears throat> if I can reduce the amount that's being confiscated, I'll probably do a lot better. You know? I'm probably this on high priority, though. I'm not really worried about the military buildings getting built too quick. It's really a minor issue. There's no risk of uprisings yet. Oh, a new quest. Presidente, we are hunting a killer here. And real hunters need cabins. Five new cabins? Uh, those seem incredibly bad, but... I'll see what I can do. <laughs> sure, we'll get some cabins, I suppose. Look at five nice new cabins. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Presidente, we this. Hey, good, we have flight. Good thing, too, because we now need an airport.
8x. How about a little sovereign debt? Make construction of the airport possible. The new airport on our dear Tropico has some fun memories popping up. You see, I'm a proud member of a certain club. And now that commercial flight is a fact of life here as well, what are you waiting for, folks? Go have fun, do the mile high. We can share stories down at the Jolly Roger when you're back. Oh, Lulu. Okay. Alright, well, hopefully the next hotel gets built. Okay, they can't... They aren't going to be confiscating shit from me. That's impressive. I give that pilot credit. He is incredibly skilled. Potentially the most skilled pilot in the world. Yep. Yep. The most skilled pilot in the world, that's for sure. Oh, Lord. Alright, well, so far this whole tourism thing, I guess, is working. Protesters, my ass. We will see. Got me hotel. Oh, yeah, 30 grand to blow. Done. I'm gonna quick build these whenever the hell I get a chance. You know? And I put them all backwards. Fucking hell. That's gonna drive me bonkers. Okay, well, that's alright. And the taxis keep on coming in. Cool, this doesn't seem too hard. We win the mission. I have sad news. At 256, so. You know, it's not like. President, we. Are... We have to, you know, kind of wait now. We've got a decent tourist set up here. But I. You're too thin. Why is a crime lord here? Why am I even asking that? How the fuck isn't there crime lords here? <laughs> All right. Good evening. Hmm. There's almost no. I could have tried. Presidente, we discuss. Have you seen a chupacabra? A chupacabra? No, those don't exist. At least, probably not. I'm gonna go with highly unlikely. And <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm not much of a believer in the whole Bigfoot thing. Although, I, and yes, I know, it's not really Bigfoot. It's actually something called a Goat Eater, I believe. It's, it's translation. It's, it's Great giant it. tropical sky. Okay, now the military is building some priority. It was a nice one. Did you know that your clueless lucky Panupino plans to spy on the tourists by installing statues and gardens with hidden cameras all over the island? Hmm. All right. Well... How much is being taken from the treasury? 17% right now? Okay. Did you know that you're... So that'll put us down to 13% being taken. Much better. That's a much more reasonable amount that we can deal with. Okay. Gardens? Where the hell are gardens? Right there. Yeah, on the plus side, this should make people happier, right? Oh, I can use these keys to cycle through it. Three, four, five. Nope. One. Grr. Three. Four. There. Then, nope, nope. I miscounted. My bad. I want the larger pool-looking ones, because they they look awesome. Put one there. Yeah. New garden's done. So now we lose 13% from the treasury. I have sad new. I have. We can handle that. I might have been just a touch off. Sure. We also got a free uh, entertainment building now, don't we? Sweet. 
Build a circus. Cool. Alright, not bad. I think this whole tourism thing is going to work out. So, I'm going to end this episode here. When we come back, we'll probably have finished this mission. Because I don't really plan on building too much else, to be perfectly honest. I don't really see any need to. This whole tourism thing's working out just fine. I mean, I could help my people, but... Mm, nah. Fuck him. So, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to uh, press the like button. And uh, as always, feel free to leave comments, because El Presidente reads them all. And thank you, everybody, for watching. As always, this has been your... No, wait. Crap, I've got to subscribe. I still haven't gotten this new extra thing down. Uh, so yeah, if you'd like to see more Tropical 5, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And as always, this has been your lovely El Presidente Calvin, signing off.